Hey guys, welcome back to the Snap Rain Chronicles. Today we have something else for you from Harbor Freight. It's a Harbor Freight ratchet. Uh, before we get started, if uh, you find these videos helpful or enlightening, could you give me a like and also subscribe to my channel? That would really help me out. Okay. Today we have the Pittsburgh Pro 3 8 drive flexible ratcheting t-bar and it says seven inch sliding t-bar which is this 18 inches long three inch flexible arm that's this flexible arm here and it also has reversible ratchet swivels 270 degrees so I guess that's the swivel here it's a swivel head ratchet and chrome vanadium steel this is item number 57175 it has lifetime warranty and as always the important question is where was this made all right, so right here we see made in Taiwan. Okay, let's uh, take this little plastic plastic hanger off, and that's that. Okay, here's this t-bar ratcheting one thing this is a pretty thin t-bar here on top uh, it slides but it's kind of like kind of shaky a little bit like in the middle it doesn't really stay it doesn't really stay that great in the middle you see how it's uh, a little loose okay and we get down to the business end here's the ratchet as you can see this is this is 72 teeth by the way it's the FACOM uh, mechanism of swivel and this is pretty sturdy the where it connects the arm for the ratchet, where it connects to the ratchet. It's uh, done in slots, is not free. So it's uh, it turns only to a certain position in the slot. Whichever slot you choose to put it in, but it seems pretty uh, pretty stiff spring seems pretty strong there so okay let's take this apart and get my for this you're gonna need a T15 a Torx 15 attachment for the joint here What I do is I push it down against the ball, push it down, and then I try to take the screw out, wiggle it out. Okay, there's the ratchet, there's the ball, and there's the spring. Here's the screw that attaches the joint. There is no Loctite on there. That's the head, the T15 head, and they didn't put any Loctite. Here's the spring. The spring is small. 
but it looks pretty thick so you got good tension there on the ball for the detents and here's the ball just uh oh boy let me see yeah just your usual ball bearing okay here's the ratchet I guess uh, if you like you can use this as a little stubby ratchet if you don't mind uh, if you don't need all that over there this is a pretty small stubby that can be used uh, okay to get this open we need the same T15 and you unscrew the screw in the head here this is that screw again no Loctite on this screw oh, and everything slides out let me get it all back together here Okay, as you can see, it's the heart spring, the, the FACOM uh, mechanism there. So this is how it switches. It uses, it uses this little prong in the switch cap to uh, get at the bottom of the heart spring, inside the spring and as you switch it back and forth it moves the paw on each end surprise on this not too happy here because this actually this switch is plastic and what they did is they put a metal pin inside the plastic as you can see there they drove in the metal pin inside this plastic cap and this retails for like 20 bucks I used my five dollars off coupon for uh, Pittsburgh Pro Ratchets and I got this for 15 but still for 20 dollars you would think they would put a metal switch on this but no they they kind of cheaped out and they went with plastic and this pin I don't know how well that pin is gonna hold inside this plastic switch mm, time will tell but that's kind of disappointing there okay and here is the mechanism like I said it's a spring and the spring has two little prongs that go into the hole there on the face of the paw and this is what the spring looks like it's typical fake calm spring here's the paw it has a K on it on the front on the back there's nothing but as you know the back has this kind of this ledge cut out there it's been chamfered over here so you know that that part goes to the back of the mechanism like that and here's the housing it's just one piece uh, typical of the design uh, nothing much to see here seems pretty good not too bad you can see the ball detent there looks okay looks well centered has like this black matte finish on this and here is the paw 
This is what it looks like. It looks like they put a little drop of lubricant there, not enough for something like this. And the, this probably needs a light, some light oil to for this mechanism to work really good. I don't know, maybe like 15, 14, 15 teeth there on this pole. And the head is 72 teeth, tiny teeth. You can see them there. And there is a small cutout on this side. That's the switch side. You can see a little a little bit of a cutout there at the edge. This one is flat. And to tighten this up, instead of a, a Torx, this is an Allen or hex screw here. So you got Allen and Torx on this ratchet. I'm not going to take this out. Okay. Okay, to get this back together, we just take the mechanism here, the housing, and we get the pole and the spring. Okay, you take the two little prongs of the spring, both of them, and you squeeze them together. And you get them in the hole like that of the pole. Okay, once you get that, then you just sit this pole on the ledge like this. And now, you just put this in on the flat side, not the side that has the little lip cut out at the edge. So you put this in on the flat side. Like that. And you take your, your switch. Remember, you need to put that little silver post inside the spring at the bottom. So, you try to catch it inside the spring at the bottom. Like that. Okay. Now, you hold it down there. You hold it down pretty good. You get your screw. You drop that in, then you take your Torx driver and screw the screw in. And you give it a little bit of torque, not a lot. If you need to, if you need it tighter, I would suggest putting some uh, thread lock around there instead of going crazy with the torque. And then you test it out, see if it's ratcheting and switching. Yep, it's ratcheting and switching. Okay, here's the part that's a little bit hard. You take your, your T-handle and now uh, you're going to get the spring. You're going to drop the spring in the hole, there, like that. Now you take your ball bearing, and you drop that in the hole like that. Now you take your ratchet part, and you mash down the ball bearing. And you grab your screw. Remember the screw has a cutout for the head. And I think on the other side is just threaded. As you can see there. So let's put the screw there. But you gotta mash this down a bit against the ball. Alright. Let's see if this will work. Yeah, just screw it in. And again, not too tight. 
Don't go crazy if you need it tighter. I would suggest thread locker there again. So, so that's pretty much it. That's uh, that's the tear down of the Pittsburgh Pro. 3 8 drive flexible ratcheting T-bar and I guess this is not something you're gonna use a lot in your tool arsenal you might but uh, it seems kind of like a specialty tool that you would uh, use for those really hard to get uh, bolts to get them out but it seems like something that if you don't have this it would probably ruin your day because you probably wouldn't be able to reach a certain bolt that would take you uh, take you about a minute to get out but if you didn't have this it would probably take you a couple of hours try to finagle it out somehow so alright guys until next time